Hello, my name is Mohammad Hamza Aslam, and today I will be specifically targeting data versus Uzata case. Most of the students have the uh, have inability in understanding the sentences, especially when there are vexed preposition and especially when there are no preposition. So I will be targeting those cases. First of all, I will be like dividing the explanation in uh, in the sentences that don't use any preposition and the sentences that, that they do use the vexed preposition. So for uh, sentences that do not use any preposition, they uh, they are uh, uh, This is nominative case in the, uh, what I'm trying to say that the sentences that they don't use don't use any preposition, and the sentences sentence that is defining a state or case that is nominative. The object will be nominative. Always remember that in in, in without preposition case, if the sentence is defining a case or a state or a static case, then this sentence or this uh, the object of that sentence will be nominative. And then we have accusative. Accusative is basically answering what or whom. The sentences are basically ish zehe then men. Whom am I seeing? Men. Ish pindit then schlüssel. What is he finding key? For and how do I uh, how do I uh, how do I basically verify that this sentence is basically nominative or dative? One more important thing is that uh, the accusative case when we are talking about without preposition sentences, accusative most often use single object and uh, also they are less specific. What I mean that less specific. For example, if I'm here and I say that I'm uh, looking at the laptop. Or I can say that I'm looking at a laptop uh, by my eyes or through my eyes. So I'm basically not telling you that what I'm looking. I'm telling you that my eyes are looking at the laptop. Okay. So there is a difference between accusative and dative. Accusative targets the situation where I am directly involving with the object. And dative is targeting a situation where I'm not di directly engaging with an object, but through another object. So there will be another object in the sentence. That is why the dative is more specific and dative is uh, do have a dative do have two objects in the sentence so always remember that most often dative have two objects in the sentence and accusative have one object in the sentence that is why that is why and also i gave the analogy of uh, i'm watching the laptop and i'm watching the laptop through my eyes when i include through my eyes then that this means that i include another object in the sentence that is why most often the dative have two objects in the sentence this is the case for without preposition now i'm talking about the with preposition and specifically i'm talking about the Vexel prepositionin. So, in vexel prepositionin, I I told you that uh, when we are talking about without preposition sentences, the sentence that sentences that define state or case they are nominative. Here I am saying that the same case or static situation of the sentence will be replaced by the dative. I am trying. I will be saying again. The case or static situation, the sentences that are defining the case or static situation, they will be replaced. They will become dative, not nominative, especially in the case where we I am where I am talking about the vexel preposition. Okay, now we are talking about the accusative. Uh, thus, basically, accusative. All the verbs, uh, uh, all the verbs in the sentence that show the ability of the subject to move or make some movement, they are accusative case. For example, I am talking about. Uh, I have to give some example, then you can't, uh, otherwise you can't understand it. What I'm trying to say that ish khange the build on the wand. Here, ish is me. So I have the ability to hang the uh, like picture on the wall. And uh, here, I would also give another example, and which is uh, ish lege das bo. Of then fish. One more important thing here: you don't have to do to worry about to whom, to what, what or whom. You only have to worry about it when you are targeting the without preposition. Also, I uh, and you can also negate that by understanding that the sentences uh, that do not use any preposition. If the sentence is using two objects, then it is dative. And if the sentence is using one object and action verb, obviously, and that is doing some movement or any other thing. That is most often is accusative. Most often mean is 99% in my opinion. I may be wrong in that. Uh, you do check about it on the internet. That is my research. Okay. Uh, and uh, first of all, I would like to say that I'm a student and I can be wrong. So you must do your own research. This is the guidance from my, this is a disclaimer. You can say that. And in dative, okay. Dative is really, uh, really interesting. I said that uh, that uh, uh, dative consume the cases of nominative or uh, sentences that nominative represent in without preposition of uh, without preposition sentences. Here we are talking about vexel preposition. So dative sentences are basically defining the static uh, uh, static situation or uh, and also one more thing here is that dative use two objects. Okay, we we always said that dative use two objects. Dative use two objects. Here 
the, the uh, one object replaces the subject most often in the sentences or in the dative sentences. One object is replace the subject, uh, and also the second factor is also you have to consider is that that specific subject that you made from an object that subject doesn't have the ability to do the movement by itself. For example, what I'm trying to say does build hang. I use the same same verb here hang on their bond. Uh, sorry, bond. So here you need to see that this build this build is a, is a picture. It doesn't have the ability to hang something. That is why it uses same same verb like here. Okay, same verb but different 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 conjugation. Okay, same verb here but the uh, but the overall uh, answer is different. Like the next example will be thus go leaked of them dish. Oh my exam my spellings are physical. Yeah. What I'm trying to point out is that the subjects of the uh first of all, how can you say that the sentence that have vexal preposition, how can you say that it is dative or accusative? First of all, you need to identify that if the subject, if the sentence, if in the sentence the subject is making some movement, or the subject has the ability to do the movement by itself, or make the sentence, make the object to do the movement, then it is accusative case. And in dative case, if the subject doesn't have the ability to do the movement in the sentence, then it is dative. Then it is dative case. And most often, the dat in dative, in most often, there are two objects. The one object replaces the subject in the sentence, and that uh, replaced or newly created subject from the object doesn't have the ability to do the movement that is what i'm trying to say that and that if uh, also it, it is very important to understand that here that if consumes consumes the cases of nominative that means that that if in vexal preposition is basically explaining in the sentence of, of the sentence about the uh, case or the state that is what i'm trying to say that so i will be <clears throat> summarizing that uh, very uh, cleanly that is that you need to understand that there are you need to divide them in two sections the cases where uh, without preposition and the cases with preposition in without preposition you, uh, uh, for nominative you say that the sentences that define a state or case that are nominative cases and the sentences uh, and the sentences that are not more specific or the sentences uh, they have movement and the sentences have one object only they, these sentences are accusative and for that is the sentences they have two objects i'm talking about without preposition i keep reminding you the sentences that use two objects and uh, these uh, sentences are more specific then they are dative cases without preposition and in uh, vexal preposition cases the dative consumes nominative case so nominative is out of the picture i'm talking about the object not subject so nominative is out of the picture now we are talking about the accusative case when the subject has the ability to do the movement in the sentence then it is accusative case and in dative case when the subject doesn't have the ability to do the movement by itself how this subject is created you can ask a question it is created by the newly replaced object to the subject and in these sentence most often the object replaces the subject that is why you can say that these subjects of the dative doesn't have the ability to do movement that is why i'm saying that so this is the wrap up and i hope that i can explain you uh, that and this is uh, this is what i found this is what i researched for it uh, you can like cross verify me i'm also a student so i can make correction uh, later by uh, later on it so hope you get some knowledge out of it and if you uh, understand it and like it do like it do like this video do share this video uh, to the students that are basically learning german language uh, in and uh, also do give me feedback how did you like understand and how and how could you not understand the video i try to speak english uh, and i'm like not uh, really fluent in it because i want to make it uh, make available to the people that do not speak Urdu or Hindi. Otherwise, I can easily or cleanly explain everything in Urdu. So uh, do consider that in my understanding. And hope you like this video uh, and share this video with your friend. And bye-bye. See ya. Ciao.